911, what's your emergency? Yeah. 
issues. I don't need that left side. I'm going to start the second line. Hello? Hello? She awake and look good. I'm responsive. 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 I'm Your son was involved in a crash. He was the driver of one of the vehicles, a contributing vehicle to the crash, and he is currently in custody with Brownfield PD. Is your uh, daughter Emma? Yes. Uh, she was involved in a crash this morning, um, and uh, she was a passenger uh, in a vehicle and uh, was transported to the hospital. Um, unfortunately, uh, she died. Is your uh, daughter Abby? Yes. Um, your daughter was involved in a car crash um, earlier this morning. Um, she's she's pretty hurt and she's headed to the hospital. Okay. Um, she's going to be taken to the hospital here in Brownfield. Um, unfortunately, that's all the information that I have for you at the moment. Um, Brownfield PD is still working the crash. They'll have more information as they as they okay. get that to you.
the authority of the state of Texas, the grand jury for the county of Terry, state of Texas, duly selected and paneled, sworn, charged, and organized as such at the January term of 2019 of the 121st District Court for said county upon their oaths present in and to said court at the said term that Zach Muniz, hereinafter style defendant, on or about the 21st day of March 2019, and before the presentment of this indictment, in county and state aforesaid, did then and there recklessly cause the death of an individual, namely Emma Powell and or Malachi Garcia, by texting while driving and or disregarding a stop sign and or speeding, and it is further presented that the defendant used or exhibited a deadly weapon, namely a motor vehicle, during the commission of or immediate flight from the offense, and it is further presented in and to said court that the defendant on or about the 21st day of March 2019 and before the presentment of the indictment in the county and state aforesaid did then and there intentionally, knowingly, and recklessly cause bodily injury to Abby Ontiveros disregarding a stop sign causing a crash and the defendant did then and there use or exhibit a deadly weapon, namely a motor vehicle during the commission of the assault against the dignity against the peace and dignity of the state signed by the foreman of the grand jury. Mr. Muniz, did you understand the charges you were indicted? Yes, sir. And how do you plead to the charges indicted? Are you guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. guilty. Y'all may be seated. There are no words that can describe what an extraordinary person she was. She was 18 years old, very young, but ready to start a new life on her own. She will never get a chance to do that now. I have no idea what our lives will be without her. I cannot imagine a day going by without Emma here. We will not get to hear, watch her walk across the stage at graduation just a few months away, knowing how proud we would be of her being at the top of her class. We will not get to drop her off at the first day of college, but we will not get to see what career path she chooses. Her mom and I will never get a chance, her mom will never get the chance to go wedding dress shopping with her. I will never get to walk my baby girl down the aisle for her wedding. The thought of not getting to hear her laugh again, see her smile, talk to her about her days, takes my breath away. We will miss her every day for the rest of our lives. The loss of Emma affects not only our family, but a lot of people here today. She was a fellow student, an amazing athlete, and a beloved friend. Emma loved playing sports with the girls she was close to, and if you ever needed an honest opinion, all you had to do was ask, and she'd tell you the truth. Our lives and the lives of so many people she touched along the way will be forever changed. As I think about the impact of the hopes and dreams lost and never get back, I think of the impact of things her precious 18 years of life, 18 years of life had taught us. Emma showed authentic kindness to work hard and to never give up. She showed power of being true to herself with strength and courage, and she was always a light in any situation. Her loss has reminded us to embrace each day as a gift, and the next is not guaranteed. As I search for how to go on without her, I do not want to. I, I do know I want to honor her life by living what she taught us and being so thankful for the time I have with my baby girl and the impact she will forever have on our lives. <coughs> Zach, you've taken the light from our world. I believe every action has reaction and you must face your consequences. But we forgive you and we hope you move past this and learn from this. And everyone today, here today, needs to know that this tragedy should have never happened. My name is Angie Garza. And on March 21st, my world was so senselessly being changed forever. Malachi was a gift from God. And you, Zach Muniz, have cruelly, have so cruelly taken that gift from us. Two years ago, Malachi came home and said, there's a new kid in school, and I'm going to see if he wants to hang out. He invited you over like he does all his friends. Malachi loved all his friends, and he loved his dogs. He would try and bring every stray home. 
Now even his dog Nova will not have their best friend. Two years ago, who would have thought that you would have been the one responsible for Malachi's death, all because of a stupid and foolish and irresponsible action? It saddens me to know that he will never be able to make his dream come true. We mourn the loss of all his hopes, his dreams, and expectations. He will not ever be able to go to college and play baseball as he had planned as soon as he graduated. He will not be able to live out that dream to his full potential. Malachi's death has left our lives empty. Malachi will never be able to become someone's husband or father. He will not be able to bring us a grandchild to spoil. You of all people, Zach, know that Malachi meant the world to me and Popo, and you have left a hole in our hearts that can never be filled. For the rest of our lives, we will mourn the loss of our son, our grandson, a brother, and a friend. I hope that Malachi's death is not in vain, and I pray that this will bring this will be Malachi's last change, chance to change the world and make it a better place by ending distracted driving. That everyone will think twice before texting and driving. And I'm pleading to the court that the sentence this young man receives will fit the crime he has committed, that it will be enough to keep him from taking another life by his senseless actions. My name is Ana Ontiveros. My daughter is Abigail Ontiveros. And before March 21st, my daughter was a very <coughs> outstanding and outgoing student, full of life and full of joy. Due to the impact of this horrible accident, she will no longer be able to participate in the things she loved. She will never be able to walk again and enjoy her life to the fullest. She was preparing herself to start a new chapter in her life and has gotten and had gotten her acceptance to college. And now at now this time we don't know what the future will hold for her. I plead to the courts that this young man be sentenced for as long as it is needed for him to, under, to understand the consequences of his irresponsible actions. Zach, we forgive you. Zach Muniz, <coughs> you've been sentenced by the jury to serve 20 years in the Texas Department of Corrections. I hereby sentence you to serve that 20 years in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice Institutional Division, according to pay a $10,000 fine and court cost. Nothing can be said more than what has been said by these families here today. You have taken from this community these children. You injured another child. You have taken from them everything that they were going to be in the future. At this time, I remand you to the Terry County Sheriff's Office for transportation to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice Institutional Division. Your, sen your sentence will commence this day, and I will give you time credit for the time you spent on jail in this charge. Good luck to you, sir.